Hello everyone and welcome to the Lathrom channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews, and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody, Matt from Lathrom here. Glad you guys are tuning in, hope to see you guys keep coming around, sticking with us and all that other good jazz. Now, I've actually gotten a question not too long ago, and actually it was the other day, to be quite honest with you, and I wanted to pass on some of that information. Now, we use quite a few different radios on location and whatnot, mainly because we're always looking for a deal. Uh, but we do have some Motorola RDX radios, we also have some Kedwood radios, we have a bunch of generic um, Chinese-made Bofang or Beofang, or however you want to pronounce it, radios uh, that we got offline for dirt cheap. That's usually what we hand out to people that we, you know, pick up as volunteers, and, well, we don't want them destroying a $200 radio, so we give them something that only costs about 30 bucks. The question actually came up, though, on how do you program a Motorola RDX radio, because one of the other uh, film groups in the area actually has a radio similar to what we use, uh, it's, a, it's an RDX radio, it's not the exact same model, but damn close. So, I figured, let's put this information out there. So automatically, in the link, or in the description below, you're going to get a link to the Motorola uh, CPS, or Customer Programming Software. You're going to have to download that bad boy, and you're going to have to install it, obviously. The other thing that you're going to have is a actual programming cable. And you're also going to need the dock for the radio. Now the programming cable, I'll also throw a link in the description below, mainly because this cable is relatively cheap compared to Motorola's actual radio, or Motorola's actual programming cable. And when I mean relatively cheap, I mean like $25 cheaper. So trust me, we'll just go that route. If you want to get the Motorola, you know, the real deal, that's up to you. But if not, you could use the other link. Okay, going from there, after you got that bad boy installed, you're going to see this screen. Oh, actually, after you get it installed, get it opened up, you're going to see this screen. What you're going to do is you're going to place the radio in the dock. You're going to hook up your programming cable from the PC to the dock, and you're going to turn the radio on. Now we're going to come over to radio here. It's going to read from the radio and it's going to basically well, give us a bunch of information here. Now, obviously up top, you know, we're, you know, this specific radio is an RDU 2020, which is an RDX series UHF radio, two Watts, two channels. Okay. We have a regional code of zero zero. We have our serial number here, uh, which I'll have to blank out. We have our firmware version and code plug version information if that's ever needed you know, via upgrade or if you're dealing with Motorola, what have you. Uh, you also have your frequency range, which is going to be somewhat important depending on what you're trying to do. And you also have your maximum channels. Uh, you can actually ha have your code uh, plug password set up. It's a four digit number. You can put that in there if you wish to do so. If not, that's perfectly okay. You could disable your LEDs on the radio. You can actually enable your programming mode. You can turn on a battery save mode. You can have the transmit timeout timer, which is actually a good thing because you do not want a hot mic the entire time. Uh, PL reverse burst. You could set that up as well. You can have, you know, depending on which battery you're rocking out, if you're using the nickel uh, lithium ion battery, you can actually leave that, but if you actually get the alkaline batteries, you're going to have to change that in the battery selection. Microphone gain, whether you want low, medium, or high. Accessory microphone gain. So if you're rocking out like a lav, or uh, not a lavalier, uh, lapel mic, or if you're rocking out a throat mic, or what have you, a headset, so on and so forth, uh, you can set the gain for that as well. You can have Vox turned on if you wish. That is up to you. If you turn it on, you know, again, low, medium, high, whatever level is comfortable for you, whatever level you like. You can also turn on your Roger beep tone, 
which I'm going to do. Uh, your keypad beep, uh, yeah, I'll leave that alone. You'll also have your two side buttons, uh, depending on what kind of radio you have. Some of these options may vary, but you have the ability to change that as well, whether you want you know, to monitor, you know, scan nuisance, channel delete, uh, call tone, transmit power selection, scramble, no operation. You can set those buttons to any of those options for both buttons. Now, you also have your frequencies, which is a you know, nice little index here, if you will, uh, giving you the different options that you could pick from. If you go down to channels, you can actually edit these bad boys. So right now, for the sake of argument here, for this example, I have set up for channel one is going to be frequency 451.4375, which is actual table number 69. Unfortunately, you cannot go through and just pick whatever frequency you wish to choose. Uh, say if I had uh, 464, oh, or no. Say I wanted to pick frequency 464.1250. I can't do that unless it's actually in this list. One of the downsides about uh, the Motorola RDX radios, you're limited to a, you know, a table, but you can pick out which frequency you want. Uh, the bandwidth is grayed out. It's stuck at 12.5 kilohertz. Uh, you, ha you can have the option of changing your transmit power from low to high. Uh, if you want to run a DPL code, um, so it's a little bit harder for you to kind of cross talk on, you know, the same frequency by chance. You can change that information as well. You have the ability to run the scramble and you also have the ability to auto scan. Now, if I go through hit right to radio, it's going to save everything that I've done to the radio. Once that's done, it'll make a few noises. It'll complete, it'll say write successful, and you're okay. You can do the same thing with channel two. You know, go through, fill out all this information, make sure that you do save it. What do I mean by that? Well, it's quite simple, actually. We're going to, or we're gonna go ahead and actually save both of these bad boys mainly because we don't want to lose them. And if you're programming other radios, it makes things a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and open this, save to profile. I could save it wherever I want. I'm just gonna hit save as, I don't care where it drops it because I'm never gonna use it again. So now this profile is saved. If I want, I can actually take this radio out of the dock, put another radio into it and say that I want to send all of that to the radio the only thing that it's not going to change is the default information for the radio. Everything else, all your different options will transfer over and you have a much quicker time than trying to program each radio individually. You don't have to worry about sitting there messing with keypads. You don't have to worry about secret buttons or anything like that. I hope this wasn't completely and utterly confusing. Um, this is kind of a small hobby for mine. It's not anything crucial uh, for me. I'm still learning as I go along, but it is a little bit of information that I wanted to try and share with some of you guys who are out there that are trying to use you know, radios as forms of communication aside from you know, cell phones. Cell phones are great. However, there is an issue whenever you're trying to basically relay information to multiple people so everybody's on the same page and also do it quickly. Radios are the way to go. But that's about it for me. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later.